This Health Key FYI is brought to you by OSS Health. Over the past several years, there have been great advances in shoulder surgery. New implants provide physicians with the tools to help patients that were previously told that nothing else can be done. If patients continue to have pain even after surgical implants, there is an operation that can alleviate this pain and may help patients regain function. Some patients who've had previous surgeries or long-standing injuries to their shoulder have pain on a daily basis. Uh, these patients may be a candidate for a reverse shoulder replacement. The procedure is called a reverse shoulder replacement because it places the ball on the socket side and a socket on the ball side. This is able to hold the arm in a stable position and allow them to elevate their arm around this ball. This surgery is done as an inpatient procedure and requires an overnight hospital stay. Not every patient is a candidate for this procedure. A shoulder specialist will need to evaluate each patient with a physical examination and possibly diagnostic studies such as an MRI or X-ray to help determine who is the best candidate for this procedure. Typically, patients that undergo a reverse total shoulder replacement do not require post-operative rehabilitation and they can often resume their activities within six weeks of the procedure. We try to exhaust all options, both operative and non-operative, prior to recommending a reverse shoulder replacement. However, if it's necessary, a reverse total shoulder replacement is an excellent option to help patients who have pain on a daily basis and may have previously been told that nothing else can be done. This Health Key FYI is brought to you by OSS Health.